Okay, let's make a pecan pie. So first we need a cup and a fourth of flour, and then about half a tablespoon of sugar and a fourth teaspoon of salt, and a whole stick of butter, all grated up and mixed in there with the flour. And once you get that mixed up to your liking, then you can add a few tablespoons of water, cold water. You know, three tablespoons, three and a half. And then you can get your blender and blend that all up. We want to make a pie dough out of this, so it needs to come together. May have to add a little bit more water. This took about four and a half tablespoons. But you don't know that until you start adding, so... Just add the appropriate amount. When it starts coming together, you're, you're good. And it don't take long. And see, it's already coming together there. And once you get that together, then you can put it on your board. Flour the board a little bit. Then put your dough on it. And then roll it out. A little flour on your rolling pin. And just roll your dough out. It's pretty easy. It rolls pretty pretty quick. And once you get it all rolled out the size you want it. Lucky for me I've got that board that has the uh, lines on it so I can pretty much know when I've got a appropriate size piece of pie shell that'll fit in my uh, pie pan but if you don't have that just uh, eyeball it and you'll get it it'll be all right use your pie pan just uh, figure out what'll fit then put it over there on your pie pan and you can crimp the edges if you like that's what I did after I got it centered and looking about like it needed to according to me then you can just use your fingers and pinch pinch it all together make it look pretty because we're making something that you might want to give to somebody or take to church social or who knows or serve as dessert for special occasion or I don't know or, or just eat it yourself I mean what's wrong with it looking nice when you're eating it yourself I mean anyway whatever you're doing with it I suggest you make it look pretty and you can put that in the fridge and until you're ready for it. Then you can cream up a fourth cup of butter, third a cup of butter, and uh, add a cup of sugar to it. Just white sugar there. And then three tablespoons of brown sugar. And a whole cup and a half of syrup. That's blackburn syrup. It's corn syrup. It's a little darker, so it's going to make the uh, pie a little bit darker in the end. So uh, don't worry; it's not it's not burnt. It's just it's just a little darker. Don't worry about it; it'll be okay. But once you get that all mixed up, then you can add your eggs. And this takes three eggs. And then that bowl there, just when you get through mixing that, you can just put them in there. I like to quarantine them just to make sure that I don't get any shells or eggs don't have any spots in them or whatever. And uh, you might want to try that too. And then throw those eggs in there. Put you some vanilla in. About a teaspoon of vanilla. You can tell I measured that well. And then you can blend that all up until it's nice and smooth. 
and looking like it should. And just keep blending it on up. And we'll get there. Almost there. This don't take that long. It, 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 we'll get there. It, it's, it's almost done, I promise. And once you get that all beat up, then you can add your uh, pecans that you uh, didn't get off your tree because the squirrels ate them all. Had to get those pecans at Bucky's. But those Bucky pecans will work just fine. Then once you get that mixed in, you can pour it into your pie shell. And if you want to get real fancy, if you just, just have to be fancy, you can put those uh, pecan halves in some sort of pattern on top of your pie. And you don't have to do that, but you could. I mean, it'll eat just fine if you don't. But I don't see why you wouldn't. It's It's fun. It looks nice, and why not? Just uh, just put those little pecans right on right on your pie there, in some sort of pattern. You can even take your time doing this. Just just uh, it's therapeutic, really. Just take take your time, and everybody else's. Uh, just. Uh, but you do have to pick out the, the right pecan halves because you don't want little pieces of pecans on there. Those aren't as pretty. So you got to pick out the pecan halves. And if, if you got the right bag of pecans from Bucky's, you got enough pecan halves to, to go on there. And uh, you, you'll get it eventually. You don't have to do that pattern, but you can do a pattern, or I mean, you can skip it all all entirely. Um, I mean, it's up to you. But this is the way I did it, and uh, don't forget the middle one. You, you got to have one for the middle. Where's it at? Where's a good one? There it is, and then put it there. Then bake it four twenty-five for fifteen minutes, and then. 350 for 40, and it looks like that. It's not burnt, it's fine.